Whoa! <laughs> that was a seagull, I'm pretty sure. What a beauty. That, I think, has to be one of the sounds that most reminds people of Australia. Let's get started. I've got my good reaction face on. Magpies! <laughs> Magpies! Magpies, so good. One of my favourite birds. <laughs> this is the only bird in the world that does this sort of singing where they sort of sound like a bit of a demented synthesizer. <laughs> this looks like a cycling helmet. Whoa. That's a really good shot. It's like every child in Australia when you're riding your bike to school and having to ride like this. Look at those wing beats, what a majestic creature. Did he just fall off the bike? <laughs> Whoa, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Everyone knows that they swoop. They're quite dangerous. I mean, I don't know that they necessarily kill anyone, but they are quite dangerous. They have been known to take out eyes. Got me the bloody in the bastard! The funny thing about them is, right, is that they have particular proclivities. So some Maggies think that bike riders are like devils and just go for bike riders, but only bike riders that wear helmets. Some magpies only swoop posties that have got high vis on. Some magpies only swoop specific individuals because they can remember faces, so they know you. Only ones that swoop are males, so manly ones, and often they don't swoop at all. There's only a really small percentage, like 10% of males or something, that actually swoop. And they're only swooping when they've got chicks in the nest. In swooping season, every single bike rider has cable ties all over their helmets sticking up like hedgehogs. I think people still get swooped, but what it does is means that when the bird clips you, it's actually higher than your head. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> See the eyes? Some people, like, used to put eyes on their stack hat, um, either on the front or the back or both, because that idea of you looking at the magpie is going to make them stop swooping. Um, hopefully the eyes are going to work. Ah! Ah! Oh, the eyes don't work! The eyes don't work! <laughs> I don't think it worked. What... What has he done? I, uh, I think you can see how seriously Australian take magpie sweeping. He's got a fake Maggie. They're a super, super smart social animal. They will know the magpies that live in their area, both within their territory and external, intimately. So I, I don't know that they would be fooled necessarily by that. If you're getting swooped, there are a couple of things you can try. You can take along an umbrella because essentially it acts like a force field. Because <laughs> if you have not to hurt the magpie, just to shield yourself. The only real way that you can avoid being swooped is by not walking into the magpie's territory. And you can help other people by, if you know there's a swooping magpie in the area, putting up a sign saying magpie swooping, report it to the magpie swooping app. There's different websites on the internet that collect this sort of information so people can plan their walking routes around the nasty magpies. And remember that it's only a couple of weeks. It's not long. Just change your route. Oh, that was a siren. <laughs> was that a siren? He's copying, he's copying. He's going to call an arm and a whistle. They're one of the best mimics in the world, right? There's something like 35 sounds that they can mimic, including dog barks and humans and all sorts of things. Ooh, look how alert they are. When they heard diddy dit, they went ooh and looked up. The sound that you heard was a minor call. That's actually an alarm call. This is how smart that magpies are, right? They're listening to the sounds around them and they basically translated from minor into magpie that there was a danger. Nope, nothing. Go back to eating. <laughs>
Magpies are carnivorous. The best thing to feed them, if you are going to feed them, is going to be things like mealworms that actually have um, complete exoskeletons. They've got everything in it that a magpie would normally be eating when they're picking things out of the ground. Do your research and make sure that you're not harming the birds that you love so much. Clearly you love them because you want to feed them, right? All right, so if you've got a video that you've taken of Australian nature out there and you want us to have a look at it and see what we can see, why don't you subscribe and leave us a link to the video in the comments. We'll make sure that we'll get to it soon. See ya.